In this problem, a water pollution control plant, or WPCP, takes daily measurements of a given pollutant to ensure compliance with their NPDES permit. The permit states that the weekly geometric mean of the pollutant shall not exceed 25 mg per liter. The pollutant measurements for a given pollutant are recorded in the following table. On Tuesday, the table was not updated after taking the measurement. The monitoring system provided the geometric mean at the end of the week to be 20 mg per liter. What is the maximum value that Tuesday's measurement could have been so as not to violate the NPDES permit? So this is a simple math problem disguised as an environmental engineering or water resources problem. In the reference manual, we can simply search for geometric mean to find the equation that we need in chapter 1. So the geometric mean equation is written as follows. x1, x2, x3, up to x to the n all to the square root of n. So there is one small trick in this problem worth pointing out in case it isn't apparent. The problem provides you with the geometric mean calculated at the end of the week, but then it asks what the max value could have been on the missing day, which would have not exceeded the NPDES standard. So we can fill out the equation with our knowns as follows. The geometric mean set by the NIPTES permit is 25 milligrams per liter. And our x terms can simply be the days of the week for which we have data. So we have 7.81. I'm going to ignore units in this problem as they're all consistent. Times 7.81 times x on Tuesday times 63.87 times 24.84 times 7.10 times 24.84 and all of these are going to be square rooted by the same number of terms here which is going to be seven days then we can rearrange to solve for the missing day's max possible value that would cause it to not exceed this standard. So simplifying this down, we can move our terms around to isolate for x as follows. times 7.81 times 63.87 so with x on one side the geometric mean is going to be in the numerator position and the remaining days of the week are going to be in the denominator one two three four five six okay and solving for x, we can find that x equals 357.6 milligrams per liter. And our closest answer over here is going to be 360. Now this answer may seem high, but that is the point of the geometric mean. Outlier values are less significant. It's also why solving for a geometric mean of 20 incorrectly instead of 25 will give you a noticeably different answer. So avoid this trick by reading the problem carefully and you will solve this problem correctly. And that's it.